video you can see that they point their rifles at him and he calmly takes out his gun and hands it to somebody inside of the inside of the house he was in and walks out and kind of tries to negotiate with the people outside the federal mm -hmm. agents that are trying to arrest him and you can see that the agents are like oh what did we stumble in on oh. right Damn. so that happened they grabbed them they reported back to mexico they captured him they started to announce the capture and his brother, um, uh, his half-brother, Archibaldo, basically called in all of the reinforcements from all surrounding towns and regions in Sinaloa. And okay, I still do not know the plot exactly, though. Can we know about the plot? But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, because today we're checking out creepy and scary TikToks that will change your reality. Will it really change your reality? Let's find out. It was flooded with a bunch of armed cartel guys. Mmm, okay. He's singing in the 963 he's singing in the 963 hertz frequency, also known as the frequency of divine harmony, and the god note his voice is spiritual. Yo, they were crying though. Paranormal yeah, investigator. Do. Paranormal investigator gets stalked, then attacked by a poltergeist. Oh my god! You know, I have the power and the protection of God with me. Yeah! I also you got my... You can't do anything else to me, can you? I also got my, my bare knuckles, son. You can close doors, you can make noises. You can move the chandelier. But you cannot move me, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah,
technically time travel exists where we can go like in in space it exists right but to go backwards that does not or does it exist though oh, shit. Oh. does it let me let me know man what you think do you believe the in illuminati is real i'm a member it's how imagine dragons got famous i'm tired of the politics this put, puts me at great risk putting this out here and telling you guys this but i want i believe in full honesty this is the elephant's foot and resides in the most deadly room in the world the elephant's foot is the nickname given to a large mass of radioactive material located inside the Chernobyl yeah. nuclear power plant in Ukraine. The elephant's foot is made from a mixture of nuclear reactor fuel and concrete, which has been dubbed corium. Radioactive lava escaped from one of the cores during the meltdown in 1986. What's crazy is the lava traveled through six and a half feet of reinforced concrete and made it yeah. out of the room through a steam pipe. After four days, the elephant's foot was still averaging 3,020 degrees Fahrenheit and radiating more than 10,000 rentgen an hour, which is equivalent to 4.5 million chest x-rays. This is the first image. Okay, I'm not gonna claim to know like what that um, means, but uh, okay, that is like, damn, that is definitely big. Look, I, I suppose that's what he means. Captured of the elephant foot. This was shot by a worker who pushed their camera around the corner on a chair to see what was causing the massive radiation spike around the corner. Also what's interesting is all those little holes that you see in the film, that's from the gamma radiation blasting through the film reel. In 1996, 10 years after the meltdown, the elephant's foot was slightly less dangerous than it was before due to the decay of the radioactive components. This photo uh -huh. was taken by Artur Korneyev, and somehow he didn't die from taking these selfies. Though he does have a heap of health problems related to the radiation exposure. What's interesting about this photo is the picture looks a little bit off because of how much radiation it was exposed to. Even after 10 years of decay, it still has damaging effects. After the meltdown of 1986, 31 people died immediately after the Chernobyl accident and it's estimated that another 50 deaths were attributed due to the radiation surrounding the plant. But since radioactive damage to the body is not usually immediate, it's hard to say for sure if this was caused by the plant or not. Music is spiritual. Anybody that f music long enough, you know, if you don't cloud yourself and you don't like miss it, you're gonna realize it's spiritual. You can miss it though, but if you in tune and you present enough, you're gonna be like, it's vibrations, it's the word. If you even read the Bible in the beginning, it was the word. That's the first thing that the Bible says. So the power of the word is intense, it's real. To try to make music and separate it from a spiritual thing, I don't think it's possible. The actual act of music, think about this. You going somewhere mentally man the music industry at the end of the day is just like there to mind control you and if you constantly listen to devil type music i mean you're lowering your vibration if you're constantly like listening to music that's talking about hey i don't want to do nothing all day well you're gonna be lazy Let, let's just be real because that is gonna be in your subconscious this is why you gotta listen if you want to listen then listen to good music listen to music that is uplifting that is spiritual that is that got like decent lyrics i mean like not like twerk this shake that ass. like come on man like you're gonna be it's gonna dumb your iq down let's be real because it's being in your subconscious it's attacking your subconscious and it's staying there rent free and you bringing something back that people that aren't where you just went can hear in the place that you both are. Like you go somewhere when you go pull a lyric down. Where is it at? Where does it exist? You know what I'm saying? And then you say it with your voice and now everybody can hear it. It was a truth that existed in everybody's space. You just went and like brought it down to the level that we communicate on. That's spiritual. Even producers make music. Where does the music exist? Though? They hear an A, B, C. Where, where does that, until they play it, they bringing it down to our level of experience, but it exists already because they heard it. So to think it's not spiritual, I think it's being like, you're not thinking about it long enough. The city of Lucifer has been discovered and it will shock you. Yeah! Uh, okay, that just changed my reality. But the most astonishing thing is that people live there and it's not the only city in the world. In Apocalypse, Chapter 2, verse 13, Jesus reveals the city of Satan. Listen. Okay, city of Lucifer, this is my first time hearing about it. Uh, where is this city supposed to be? Like, is there like, um, uh, what was this called? Uh, like a city where it should be that exists in real life? Or is this uh, something else? I, I, need, I need to know because I'm curious right now. Carefully to the words of Jesus. I know where you live, where Satan's throne is. It was in this very place that his faithful witness Antipas gave up his spirit. He was burned alive on a bronze statue in Geneva, Switzerland. And you'll never guess what's happening right now in Geneva. This city is the headquarters. Oh, 
that that the CERN thing, right? Or is it called CERN? I don't know. That that round thing, you know, that's looking for God particle or something like that. Some BS like that. Yeah. Of an organization called CERN, Yay! whose logo bears Yay! a striking resemblance to the number 666. Their goal is to develop a revolutionary machine that Okay, so this city was supposed to be in Geneva and Switzerland. Is maybe they're trying to recreate that? Okay, oh my god. It allows contact with the supernatural. Recently, they made an important discovery known as the God Particle, particle. Yeah. which has further fueled questions and debates. In the meantime, let me know in the comments if you want me to specifically talk about this highly mysterious organization that hides very dark secrets. Yeah, I would love to know. A warning, do not watch if you get scared easily, demon attacks, this paranormal investigator. Okay, I get scared easily, boys. I don't even have my bubble for it, bro. Yeah. That's loud as hell. Oh my god. So he is hiding somewhere. How many cameras he got? Two? I suppose two cameras. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. I feel like it's just gonna jump out there. Oh my god, bro. I think it's just gonna jump out, bro. Bro, no way. Yeah, he's looking at the camera. Looks like the all is good. Is the all is good? Okay, why is this video not ending, bro? I, I just want this to end already, bro. Okay, a couple more seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Uh, did, you, did you know the, the dark truth about music? The truth is music is very powerful say a powerful way to influence your subconscious mind absolutely music is a form of hypnosis absolutely all of the hypnotic beats and rhythms regardless of genre put your mind in a hypnotic state if there are lyrics in that song your subconscious mind very susceptible to the messages especially if you enjoy the rhythm and find yourself trance like when listening to ie feeling the music now don't get worried just like anything else this is a neutral phenomenon not good or bad music can be a very powerful way to vent your emotions yeah it's like if you listen to good lyrics and good uh, songs then it can be very uplifting very inspirational but if you're constantly listening to lazy and sad music then you're gonna be depressed and you're gonna be in that state finding inspiration motivation healing etc just make sure you pay close attention to how it makes you feel no one genre is better than another music and art is all subjective and you will know whether it resonates with you or not yeah yes sir yes sir yes sir this theory's wild starting off the last line of the first layer we got number 82 triple x was killed by demons now there's absolutely no doubt that triple x tentacion was probably one of the most influential artists we had ever seen grace the earth his ability to energize connect and intrigue audiences was something that we hadn't seen in a very long time and his tragic death definitely affected the hip hop culture and the lives of many but you see there's a theory that this death was actually more than just physical it was a demonic death you see while he was in jail triple x had claimed that he was a approached by a demon. This oh, demon man. offered him everything he ever wanted in exchange for something that he would claim back later in life. Ironically enough, it'd be that mugshot that he would use when he released Look At Me, which was probably one of his biggest commercial hits. But one of the biggest factors is for this video here, Sad. Where there are multiple scenes of X talking to a demon his own funeral but in the video the demon speaks about spreading love and some people believe that wasn't the truth that was x's defiance leading up to the tragic day where he would lose his life and that's Damn. why this is not real that's why this is not real well guys that definitely changed my reality click on this video on the screen we got a ton of crazy tiktoks that they don't want you to see click on it and i will see you 